The programs that were used to create this video are Camtasia Studio 5 and Microsoft Windows Movie Maker. Hello and welcome to XNA tutorial number 9, part of the Paddles game. And what we're doing in this tutorial is the ball class and maybe finalizing the game or get started on finalizing the game. And then next tutorial is testing and distribution and if we don't finalize the game we'll finish finalizing the game that tutorial as well. So only two more left for this game and then we'll go on to a space shooter. Okay so now this is a ball class it is very very similar to the paddle class uh, the ball size will be 10 by 10 and use the following bullets to help you build the class. We need two vector 2 objects called position and velocity, two public vector 2 properties to get the position and to get the velocity, rectangle object for the boundary, two float variables called speed and angle, the constructor with the parameter called speed of type float. Inside the constructor we will set the ball speed to the past float value and call a method named reset. The reset method has a axis of private and return type of void and inside we need to set the ball's position to the center of the window which is the x vector x part of the vector is 800 divided by 2 minus 5 the y part is 600 divided by 2 minus 5 after the ball is centered we need to find a random angle by calling another method and I'm gonna call that find random angle which will be implemented later next we need to apply some trigonometry to the exact velocity and in order to do the trigonometry to get the x portion of the vector you take the speed times cosine of the angle and the angle needs to be in radians to find the y portion of the vector you take speed times sine of the angle again angle needs to be in radians and for the last line in the method we need to update the boundary the find angle a find random angle method will have an axis as private and a return type of void. Inside we need a random object called R angle. It has a capital A. We also need an integer called R to hold the int values we get from R angle. Now since we do not want the ball to fly in a straight line up, down, left or right, moving to right is an angle of zero moving up is an angle of 90 moving left is an angle of 180 and moving down is an angle of 270 but we do want it to go diagonal we want to get a value that is not even because we're going to multiply the random number times 45 and that will give us a nice little diagonal because 0 times 45 is 0, 2 times 45 is 90 4 times 45 is 180 and 6 times 45 is 270. So we do not want it even. So while r modulus 2 is equal to 0, that says while r is even, we are going to say r is equal to r angle dot next. And it'll choose a random number between 1 and 7. So once the while loop breaks, we need to set the ball's angle by taking the result times 45 and converting it to radians. Now three more methods an update method, public axis with return type of void, draw method, a public axis with return type of void but a sprite batch parameter, and another new method called collision that will hold the collision of the ball and we'll have a return type of void and access as public. 
Okay, so let's go into our code and start building the ball class. Say the paddle class and go to the ball class. Uh, add to using above using Microsoft dot XNA that framework as one we're gonna highlight that and copy it paste it at the bottom and then another one will be framework dot graphics okay so two vector twos a position and a velocity now we need two of those properties public vector two position and we'll get return lowercase position and the property has a uppercase p for position and then the other property will be public vector two capital V velocity get return lowercase velocity now we need a rectangle object for boundary and then we need a property for that public rectangle boundary capital B and we will get return lowercase boundary now we need to float speed and angle and we need after that we need a constructor and we pass it a speed inside the constructor we call this dot speed is equal to the past speed and we call reset and since we didn't create it it'll want us it'll ask us if it wants us to auto generate just have it auto generate inside the reset we want to set the speed of the ball to a nice small speed but not too small because every time the ball hits a paddle we're going to increase the speed a little bit that'll make it harder for the player and the computer to keep up so it won't be too boring we want to center the position so in order to do that we take 800 divided by 2 and we subtract 5 which is half the ball's width and we do the same thing for the y value but it's 600 divided by 2 minus 5 now we call find random angle and have it auto generate it and inside the find random angle we want a random object called our angle and is equal to new random then we want an integer r is equal to zero and copy that while loop inside the text tutorial while r is even get a random number from our angle 